Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for October the 18th, 2011. Now to get started here tonight, our first trade is going to be in the foreign exchange market, specifically the Australia-US currency pair. Now we do have a fairly fresh triple EMA cross from vantage point. However, I, I, I believe that a lot of this is based around the fundamentals of a stronger Australian labor report and it's not indicative of a true price action as to what's actually going on in the market. Uh, often what will happen in the Forex market is the, the currency market will overshoot the mark and then it has to correct back because it realizes that it's gone too far. Now in this particular case I believe it's gone too far. We can see the predicted medium and long-term differences are in grossly overbought territory. This provides us a short to medium term opportunity to sell this currency pair and capitalize on, on, again, the market overshooting the real price. Now, our predicted MACD and our predicted TSI, we can see our predicted MACD still below that zero line, which is not indicative of a trend reversal higher here. In order for a full trend reversal higher, we would like to see that predicted MACD above the zero line. And we would really like to, we would prefer to see the predicted short, medium, and long term differences somewhere around this zero line. But you can see the predicted medium and long term are sitting at about 250. Positive 250, that is grossly overbought. So again, when we look at our short term crossover, we can see that we're already losing momentum on the downside here. Our short term crossover is starting to turn back to the downside. Now, looking at our predicted uh, how we're predicting the market, how Vantage Point has predicted the market here on the predicted high and low for the day. We can see we have one, two, three, four, five, basically six times of the last eight days it's broke above the Vantage Point predicted high. Today we have stayed right within that range and you can see this bar to, to, my, to my right here is significantly lower. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for one, maybe one more little push higher here, and then we should see a significant drop. The neural index, if we can see here, the, very seldomly do we see the neural index at a one this many days in a row. We've now, moved, tomorrow we've got a zero. So we're going to look for a move up. Uh, 102.73 is the predicted high. 101.06 is the predicted low. We're going to use the 102.50 area to get into a sell position. Uh, our, our stop here should be in the 104.10 area. That's what I would do with this. I would take more of a medium term approach. Now, if this is a false break higher, we can expect parity to give way on Australia US probably by the latter part of the month, depending on the RBA, RBA statement and things like that. But essentially, I don't see a lot of upward potential for this particular currency pair. So for now, we're going to day trade it. We're going to use 102.50 as our entry point, And our target is going to be back down in that 101.10, 101.20 area for your day traders, your medium and longer term traders. It certainly wouldn't be unrealistic to look back towards that 98 area. Now, that's our first position for tonight. Now our second our second uh, trade excuse me for tonight is going to be the in the e mini natural gas November futures contracts. Now what we're looking at here is a potential break higher in the natural gas contracts. Now this is a good example of what we do like to see with the predicted short, medium, and long-term differences for a potential trend reversal. We like to see them around this zero line, uh, and when we're looking for a for a break higher here. Rate of in and around between anywhere between 20 and 100 is what would be considered a trending move. We can see the predicted MACD and the predicted TSI in heavily oversold territory have crossed the trigger and they're starting to move up. So everything looks quite good here for this particular trade. Now, a little bit of an issue here. We've got 369 with that vantage point 18 day predicted moving average. Would like to break free of this particular area just to get this going, but let's have a look at the crossovers here. We've got our short term crossover looking good, crossing to the update, upside only three days ago. Our medium term crossover only two days old. Our long term crossover Again, warning us, we've still got some choppiness in the market here, and it's still going to be a little bit volatile. But everything is looking quite good. Now, if we look at the vantage point predictions on the predicted high and predicted low, we can see we've consistently broke the vantage point predicted high for the day. So it's quite bullish. Now, coming down into our to, to view our daily report, we're going to use this for our entry. For tomorrow, we're looking at 583 
and or excuse me 358 and 384 is the predicted high so any move towards this 358 area we're going to use that as a buying opportunity now there is the possibility the po that the pullback will not reach quite that far it may only hit you know 362 365 if we look at this from a close perspective we've closed 370 369 353 349 so it's all sitting right in around that area so i would for tomorrow and we can see by looking at that chart that we haven't been hitting the vantage point uh, predicted low for the day and we've been blowing through that predicted high so we're gonna get a little more aggressive with this we're gonna go in here at about 365 again your short-term play 384 medium and long-term traders uh, again I always try and look at it from both perspectives uh, I would certainly be looking for it to clear back above that four dollar mark in in the not too distant future so with that said, these are the market positions for October the 18th, 2011. And again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com.